काकोली घोष I stand here on behalf of All India Trinamool Congress in great reverence towards the speech of Mahamahim Rashtrapati Srimati Draupadi Murmu ji but I also question why it was the first time that she came here and why not on the day that this grand building was inaugurated what is the reason why she was not inaugurated she is a question invited. she was not invited for the inauguration is a question the other question is that as this speech commences lots on the nari shakti it was the scientists who, the aditya mission and it is through their efforts that india became the first country to hoist the flag on the northern pole of the moon no southern, southern pole of the southern sorry southern pole of the moon and nobody else no politician it is the hard work of the scientists who might have stayed away from many family reunions might have given up on many nights of family life to take our country to this glory and in the same voice i would like to request the government that the draconian notice given by the national medical commission the nmc to the doctors of service all over the country to act like bonded laborers and they have to sign at 9 o'clock in the morning and sign at 4 o'clock in the morning now doctors cannot be compared to any other professional not even the people who are working so hard you know we have the judicial system we have the teaching system we have the advocates but they have a time of working but doctors can be called at middle of the night to am to go and treat a patient of arrhythmia there is a patient of atrial fibrillation if all doctors of the country put down their pen they do a pen down or a stetho down so to say one day every doctor of the country then who is going to treat the patients the emergency patients when a doctor is called in the middle of the night to do a cesarean to save a mother and a child a mother who is suffering from preeclampsia toxemia the next morning he cannot be expected to be present in the hospital at 9 o'clock because he was working till 5 o'clock in the morning between 2 and 5 so this nmc should not be allowed to bring this notice and serve it on the doctors i oppose it completely it has happened and the notice has reached the different hospitals of the country i would also like to bring to the notice here that in this country there is a demographic deficit nearly 44% people who are seeking jobs are jobless in the democracy there is a shift of electoral autocracy and as far as the job market is concerned in the last one fiscal 135 million labor force was added which amounts to 450 million people looking for jobs but there is no job market there is no job and this is the first time possibly in independent india that more than 45% reverse migration is happening people are going away from the cities and towns towards the villages looking for jobs in the farmland but there also the farming sector is being affected adversely by the increasing fdi and the farmers are also committing suicide farmer suicide is rising so much that it is the report of the ncrb that the farmer suicide is approximately rising to 1100 one suicide per hour this is a very serious note to be taken care of that we are not by the nari shakti we are not standing by the farmer under the regime of this government the speech i quote honorable rashtrapati ji when she says that this government has made a contribution towards the wealth creators and believes in the private sector then why more than 1 lakh families who were engaged industrially in this country 
as wealth creators. These families have given up their citizenship of this country and relocated to other countries. Is it in protest against the violation of human rights and respect to diversity in this country? It's a serious question. Today, another thing that she quotes, I quote her, 46% of the world's total real-time digital transaction take place in India. Now, this digital transaction is also opening a death trap. Due to this digital transaction, suicide rate among the adolescent and young adults is increasing so much. Where she says 1,200 crore transactions were done through the Unified Payments Interface, UPI, it has become the center of the biggest UPI scam and the government doesn't bother. And how is it happening? It is happening because the apps, there are apps which are being put up, I don't want to name the country, by a different country, a neighboring country, China. not so friendly country. And due to, there is no vigilance over those apps. Due to this, there is a major rise in suicides and young people are falling into the trap, going into the apps, and they are applying for loans, and when they can't fulfill repayment, they are committing suicides. She talks about the high-speed trains, but what about the tracks? These tracks in the country were laid in the British Raj. After that, the tracks have not been repaired. पटरी इतना सरा हुआ है कि जानलेवा दुर्घटना होती रहती है और इसके ऊपर बंदे भारत चलाए हम या फास्ट ट्रेन्स चलाए तो एक्सीडेंट्स होते रहेगा और वी विल लूज सो मेनी पीपल सो विदाउट रिपेयरिंग द टैक्स विदाउट लेइंग न्यू ट्रैक्स वी शुड नॉट बी गोइंग इन फॉर दिस फास्ट मूविंग ट्रेन्स then again, the coronary stents, knee implants, cancer medicines, prices have been reduced. Maybe the government is self-congratulatory on that, but they don't mention that more than 12% increment in cost of many life-saving drugs have happened, which is making it very difficult for those patients who have to take medicines related to hypertension, medicines related to diabetes, because diabetes is like rampant in India. India might be called the diabetic capital of India. These medicines the have world. increased the, in the whole of the nation. Highest number of diabetic cases are in our country. Mahamahim Rashtrapati ji also talks about Nari Shakti again. But women are paraded unclothed like we've seen in Manipur. They have been manhandled and nothing happened. This government did not interfere into Manipur even day before. Yesterday, we've seen three people being shot dead. And last month, we saw open fighting on the roads in Manipur in Imphal. Business transaction is at its nadir in Manipur and also in the other eastern states. So what is the government doing about it? And we would also like to point out that if we want the women folk to come forward further. Their remuneration should be paid on time. Time and again, I have mentioned it here, written personally to the Honorable Minister here of Education, that the premier institutes are seeing their students, their research scholars go without pay. Places like Indian Institute of Technology, IITs, the researchers, the PhD scholars are not getting paid. That is not mentioned here. The other thing is about the daily wage earners. It was decided that they would be given 100 days of work. But in the budgetary allocation of this very fiscal, their provision is only for 42 days. The total amount required would be 2.72 lakhs, but only 60,000 crore has been given. Why the states are not getting paid? And these 100-day workers, as in West Bengal, we have the 100-day workers who have not been paid for months together and they have worked. The statute is that they should be paid after finishing the work within 15 days. 
Now months have turned up, but they have not been paid. These people are being tortured family-wise because they cannot run their home and hearth. The country should sit up, the government should sit up and take into cognizance the poor people of West Bengal who are suffering so. Farmer death by suicide in 2022, as per NCRB report, is rising on the rise. 11,290 was the number in 2022. And when you say that making farming more profitable is the intention of this government, why is FDI increasing? The FDI, that the direct investment of foreign party into the farming sector, 2016-17 was 727.22 US million dollars. 2019 to 2020, it was 904.70 US million dollars. So it shows that whatever farming is, in the hands of the farmer, the farmer is not getting any benefit out of it because FDI has entered the farming sector also. Then we see that the government talks about the grain storage plan. In 2022 2023, crop produced in the country was 3,296.87 lakh tons. But the storage capacity of the country is only 145 MMT. That is nearly half. So we have capacity to store only half of the grains we produce. And the other half is rotting on the streets in the rain and the sun. So we are not equipped to give respect to the produce of the farmers. Whatever the farmers doing their own toil, they are producing their own crops not getting any help from the government at all. And even as far as northeastern states concerned, I don't know how this could be included in the speech, because the northeastern states have no development. There is no proper facility for the medical treatment. There is no proper facility for the education. I myself have visited three to four out of the eight sister states. And the condition is so pitiable that the children don't have schools to go, women don't have proper facility for health care. So Northeast is not we can boast of. This should not have found a place here. And again then, where their renewable energy installed capacity has found a fourth place, it is congratulatory. But there is no mention about the grid conversion of the renewable energy that is formed through the renewable sector. Then again, we are talking about here that previously we had seven AIMS and 390 medical colleges. But now the number has increased to 16 AIMS and 315 medical colleges. But where are the faculty? I know it very well being a doctor myself and in the teaching line myself that this NMC's directive will further shrink the faculty sector. They're going to leave their jobs. If NMC doesn't withdraw their draconian directions, we don't have faculty. Either you organize teachers, get them from abroad, pay them properly. The doctors are not paid properly in the country. The doctors are working throughout the day and night. When the doctor's telephone on the table, bedside table rings at 3 a.m. in the morning that there is a known patient who's getting pain in the chest, the doctor will not look at anything else, not think of anything else. He will just get up, take his car, and go to the patient to give a cardiac resuscitation. But the doctors are being underpaid. And this NMC regulation, 9 to 4, this is like an added tension for the doctors. So more people will leave the job. There is no faculty. You are making college buildings. Where is the faculty to teach the students? Students with a lot of dream, they will get into the medical line to learn about medicine, to stand by patients, to treat them and get them well. But there is no teacher. There is no infrastructure. The building is not the infrastructure in medicine. The equipments are. In the medical infrastructure, we have to have the technicians who teach you how to put the rails tube in a patient or how to do a canal and start the 
IV fluid. We don't even have that. So the manpower and the infrastructure is lacking. Having building for AIMS will not suffice. And then again, we talk about the historical places which are being renovated, and there are many sites which are being discussed to be upgraded. In my constituency, there is a place called Chandra Ketugar. This Chandra Ketugar is supposed to be nearly 3,000 years old. And after repeated requests to this government, to the central government for 10 years, nothing happened. Then my chief minister, Honorable Mamta Banerjee, allotted funds by which we got a site museum made and we have exhibited the things that we found, the relics, in Chandra Ketugar. A small museum is working there. I worked 10 years very hard to get this museum put up. But the excavation has stopped. This was either in the Gupta period or in the Mauryan period, and it had a port city also showing relics and important structures to prove that there was business through the river up to Europe because we found the seals, we found the statues. But the excavation has stopped in Chandra Ketugar by ASI. So the government, if you say that they are doing a lot, then the first thing they should do is take up Chandra Ketugar as a heritage site, as a world heritage site. So as you say, put forward arguments, and Mahamayim Rashtrapati ji comes and reads, I would like to say the government is really not doing justice to all the sectors, to all the segments of people in the country, and all the farmers, industrialists, students, and Nari Shakti. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.